So I'm quite aware that Rick Shields has already done a video on clubs from Wish, but that was a driver. Now you can understand something getting hit so hard by a driver, the technology is not going to be there, it's going to break, which it did. On the other hand, a putter is a much more simple design, it's basically just a bit of metal, make sure it's the correct weight and you're pretty much good to go. So I purchased this Scotty Cameron from Wish all the way from China. It took about three months to come but it's finally here, I'm yet to open it, as you can see. Ow, I'm trying not to stub this off. Okay. Okay, so straight away, the head cover isn't really a Scotty Cameron one, I don't think. I think Scotty Cameron would say that on it, but nevertheless, I tell you what. So straight away, it's got a mid slim, super soft, super stroke grip. It's still got the Scotty Cameron sticker on the shaft which makes it look quite authentic. That actually looks phenomenal. Okay, this is gonna be a very good test. The weight feels good now. I'm gonna weigh these both. The face has got that milled like little grip bit at the front. It's got a Cameron bit, looks fine. It's got weights on the bottom like you'd expect. The select, three bits at the back. Now the only thing that I can think of at the back, I'm pretty sure Scotty Cameron has something on that lower bit. But so far, it feels fantastic. So to make this test even better, I've managed to get my hands on a real Scotty Cameron putter. Shout out to Birdie who lent me this for the day. I've got a tea time in about two hours time. I'm playing with my friend Alex. We're both gonna put these to the test on the course while we're playing 18 and give you a full review. I'm excited about this. Okay, so the fake putter, 479 grams and now the real putter 518 grams and as you can see the difference is about an inch but that shouldn't make too much of a difference on this test one's 34 inch one's 35 inch one's got a big grip one's got a small grip okay not identical, but still we'll be able to get a good feel of how a real and a fake one actually feels. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, we've got the fake putter and the real putter. There's me, Alex. Say hello, Alex. How you doing, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh dear. We're gonna take it in turns using the putters, the real one and the fake one. Which one do you want first? Go with the fake one. You want the fake one first? Yeah, we'll try the fake one first. Okay, Wish and I'm going first. with the real one. <laughs> what am I gonna say? Hey, we hot. You even know there's no one there's a bit daunting now, isn't it? <laughs> So right, what's your first thoughts on the fake Scotty Cameron? Well, to be fair, the, the head's quite hard, but apart from that, it works just the same as the uh, one to the Cleveland one. As you can see. <laughs> why has your voice completely changed now you're on camera? <laughs> so fair. <laughs> I'll wait till the next <laughs> <laughs> Here's your putter back. So what's your first impressions on the uh, the actual putter? Were you surprised? Did you did you expect something? Did you expect it to be bad? Did you expect it to be good? Oh, I really quite enjoyed it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's his first time on camera, you can't help him. So straight away, the first thing that you notice is the fake one is a lot chunkier and they're a lot less pleasing to the eye when you're actually looking down on it. It's a lot more clunky. Okay, so what we're gonna do is swapping putters now. Alex has now got the real putter. What's this for? 
This is for a seven. Hardest hole on the course, par five. <laughs> He's hit the ground first. <laughs> Nice. So this is for a par, okay? The razor blade, the man, the myth, the legend, the predator himself. Uh. What did you think to that, Mr. B? Not after. Okay, so I'm back with the real Scotty Cameron and as you can see I've got like a nice little right to left quite a long putt about 20 feet and the real putter is a lot more head heavy which I prefer personally on longer putts mm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear now I've got a short putt here. One thing I prefer about having a hit like a heavier weighted um, putter is that you don't have the tendency to whip it back too quick with like a, a lighter putter. Perfect. Now Alex, the fake putter. Oh! <laughs> Does not mess about. Does not mess about. So right, you've had a couple of holes with both. What do you prefer about the fake putter more than you do the real one? First of all, I prefer the, the grip of the fake putter. Okay. Compared to this one. The feel of the head is slightly similar to the Cleveland putter that I'm using, which I, where I feel I got a better movement. I just seen from that. <laughs> now back to the fake putter, you might be thinking, oh, so if it's not very heavy, just put some new weights in it and make it heavier. Well, because it's fake, the weights are fake, and you can't change them. Work for me. Birdie. Perfect. Oh. To me, it feels a lot similar to the Cleveland I'm using. Mainly the grip helps a lot. Maybe something to do with the grip then, but the weight... And the weight of it is pretty similar too. You, like, you prefer a nice lightweight putter. Yes. I prefer quite a head heavy weighted putter. The head isn't too heavy, but it's just, it seems all right when you get it, it's dead. Okay, so we've done enough talking, now we're just going to concentrate on playing with these putters. I've got the real one, Alex has got the fake one, we're still going to keep swapping now and again. Okay, so let's talk price. For a real Scotty Cameron, you're looking at like 300 to 400 dollars for like standard putters, okay? Second-hand ones are still going for like 200, 250 pounds, whereas this fake one, 40 pounds, 40 pounds from Wish. Ridiculous. If you're just getting started out in a game and you don't want to turn up with your, like your Dunlop from Sports World, you're going to look the bee's knees with this and no one's really going to know. Extra. So you've got your fake putter, the one that you prefer. Long putt. Oh! 
not bad. Oh. So the question I keep asking myself, because you can get quite a lot of illegal things on Wish, is how did I get away with it? It's quite obvious where it's coming from, China. Why is no one cracking down on it? Why are Mizuno, uh, Taylor Made, Scotty Cameron, Titleist, why are they not telling people of higher authority and getting this shut down? I know it's hard to stop the illegal trade, but when it's plain and obvious, like it's not even on the dark web, it's literally on a www, how many w's? <laughs> Wish.com. That like, is so obvious. Why? How are they getting away with it? It does my head in. Ooh. Brilliant, that. So if we're going on looks, for £40, you're getting yourself a pretty good looking golf club. Now, does it look exactly like the other one? No, but technically it is a different sort of putter. Uh, this is supposed to be a special edition one, the uh, four leaf clover one. But for 40 quid, you can't really go wrong. And you can tell why a lot of people are drawn to Wish to get fake golf clubs just to fit the part. Golf clubs are well overpriced nowadays. So to get a Scotty Cameron for 40 quid is just unbelievable. Oh, uh, just... That pin's not here, no? No, oh, perfect. Tell you what, if I didn't have bought that Cleveland... Whew. How does that not turn? How does that not turn? Ah! As we're walking. You do that. Here he is with the tight list. So which brings me to My oh. ping bag. <laughs> Sorry. Which brings, brings me to the point, like, should you be buying them? Like, you're taking money off of big retailers, big companies are getting mugged off. The game of golf is suffering because of these fake clubs. Should we really be buying them? Do you think you should be buying them, Alex? I don't know about the irons, but 40 quid for this putter is absolutely worth it. In my view, definitely. Brilliant birdie putt, so you can't really complain. Which my view is completely different. I don't think we should be buying them. All right, granted, I bought one, but for the purpose of a video. So in my opinion, I don't think you should buy them because you're taking money out of the game of golf. You've given it to a company who's not they're in China, they're not giving the money back to golf, they're taking the money to themselves. These big companies, okay, they cost a lot of money, but they're putting the money back into golf. <laughs> so we're finishing up 18 holes here. Alex, you clearly liked the fake putter better. Why? Why did you think that it was better for you? The grip was better. How it hits is a lot better. You thought it was lighter? Lighter. And you preferred the lightness of it? Lightness, the head weight is perfect for how I like it. And overall, for 40 pounds, can't really complain. People like me, 28 handicappers, 40 pounds for a 500 pound on a wish, and you wouldn't even know. Now, we both played plenty of holes with each putter. I prefer the real one. For me, again, it was down to weight. All the head weight, all the weight is in the head on the real putter. So that felt so much better for me. I felt like the club head was doing more of the work, whereas with Alex, he preferred to put in the work rather than the club head because it was lighter. So for me, I would have to go for this, but like Alex says, for 40 pounds, a Scotty Cameron putter, he clearly got on with it better. A lot of people would, you just can't go wrong and no one can compete with fake prices like this. So even though I think it's wrong, it's made a good video. If you are thinking of buying one, I don't condone it, but there we are. I hope this is a good review. Thank you so much for watching. This is Alex's first ever video and first time being on camera, so go easy. I think he did pretty well. Are you gonna come again? I don't 
definitely am, yeah. We've got plenty of videos that we've been talking about on this round, so can't wait. Give this video a like if you liked it. Comment down below. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Is that alright? <laughs> Hello.